Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here today going to make this awesome, awesome page pocket, multi-pocket page pocket. Um, my friend Frida Gepner at Rustic Prairie Gems sent this beautiful thing to me, and I am just gonna, um, I'm just gonna mass make some for the journals that I want to make at my retreat. So let's say hi and hugs to Cassandra, Pamela, Cindy Sue, and Judy. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, we are gonna, we are just gonna bust these out, people. So as you can see, it's got, um, a pocket in the back, this little uh, sort of angled pocket, then a little teeny tiny pocket there. And I absolutely love how all the colors, so here's our page, right? And then what I will do is put this on as a pocket and then put something under there too. So there's our prototype from our friend Frida. Hi, Frida. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Okay, so let's do this thing. So the base, the base is five by eight. And I wanna make, I wanna make one pink one because um, I have got, uh, I have got the one uh, slow stitch journal kit on the go. And so, gosh, I could actually make two, I think. Is this five? Wow, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Well, and then this way we go eight. And then all the little cutoffs I'm gonna keep because those can be be tags, you know? Know what I'm saying? So here's the thing with this double-sided paper is like we could do one this way and one this way. Maybe that's what we'll do. Okay. So at any rate, this is our base, okay? So the first pocket is going to be four by three, and I'm hoping, oh yeah, this one's, this one's three, so it's okay. I was, I was a little worried. I'm just going to take a strip off it, um, like so, and so four by three. Oh gosh, but we need, so we need two of these. And then I wasn't thinking of everything times two. Ding, 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 Gail. I think I'm going to go this way and get this flower. Although it's going to be covered up, isn't it? Oh, well, either way. Okay. So those are those pockets. And then the next one is three and a half by two and a half. So is this three and a half? It's real close. If not, it's real close. That's three and a half. So let's go this way and do two and a half on these. And then that will be the one that goes there, right? And two and a half. Oops. Okay. So, but I need more. I need more paper. Let's see. Let's use this one. These are some leftover, um, what you call it, Anna Griffin. Let's see. So four by three. So this is, how big is this? This is actually three and a half. So I could do the two and a half off this one. So this is the smaller one. Um, and I'll do this end, and then I need something for the bigger pocket, don't I? Uh, 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 let's see. I don't know what else I might have in here. I actually maybe could use this. So, no. So let's see. So th this is actually, this is the bigger pocket, four by three. Okay, let's do three this way. No, let's do four. 
Yeah, let's do four, because then we can do it in half at three. Yeah, probably doesn't matter. It was just the way my brain was working. Okay, so um, I think I'm thinking of this one for the this one for the project. So I think I'm gonna go here and here and here. here and this one will do this way yeah yeah okay okay we're good now we need so first this this part five by eight first pocket four by three inches second pocket three and a half by two and a half and then the last pocket, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Well, maybe this one, I can use this. Uh, one by one and five eighths. So one and one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, five eighths right there. Okay. And then one inch. Somehow that doesn't look right. Oh yeah, I guess it is. I was questioning my measuring. <laughs> so then this one will go down there. Okay, it's coming together. Let's see, one. And here, okay. And then on this one, I'm actually thinking I'm going to use one of these. So let's see. Uh, one and five eighths right here. And then one inch. Looks like I'll about just be able to use one for each close enough let's see this one yeah close enough okay so those are put together ready to be ready to be glued and everything and that's the extent of the pink for now which isn't usual for me as you know but we're gonna put those away and we're gonna play with autumn I would like to do several. I would also like to do one that is um, like Tim Holtz or something. Did I just put away my autumn? I did. Um, I would like to do one that's like Tim Holtz or something for my idea book. So I definitely want this for one of the, for a couple of the backings. I really like that. So let's do eight. Eight. And five and five. And five. Okay. Once we get to gluing and stuff, I have stories to tell you, but I got to think while I'm doing this. Okay, and then I was thinking maybe, thinking maybe about this for the other, for the other um, two. Thought we'd try and do four. Okay, there's eight, and five and five this paper let's see i should tell you because you might ask prima marketing autumn sunset collection okay so there's those now four by three we want so what if i this on there okay so I want this to be three three 
three. Okay. And then four and I love this pocket, Frida. It's just the cutest. Okay, and we'll do the same on this one. Uh, make it three. Oh, what did I do? Did I do that right? Yeah, I did that right. Okay. Sheesh. Three. And then four. And four. See, that's... I made that wider than three, I think, but that's okay. I think that's okay. Yeah, I did three and a quarter. Why did I do that? I don't know, but I'm going to get them down to where they're supposed to be. Three by four. Okay, because I do like the back. I'll use that as a collage strip on something. I don't know. what I get for talking and not thinking what I'm doing. Okay, so these are going to be four. Okay, and these will go on this one. Isn't that fun? Yes. Okay, so now the other ones... <laughs> What are we going to do with the other one? All right. So I have this one more piece of paper left. Um, hmm. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to take off the marketing strip just because it's confusing me. Okay. So I think I'll go... I'm gonna go three here. And four and four to do this one. And that one. I need this one too, don't I? bigger you. Well, you're four, of course. Twelve divided by three. Hello. I'll use that for that, too. And do one more strip. Okay. And do one more four. Okay. So we have our first pockets on all of those. Okay. So the next pockets are three and a half by two and a half. So these, this, I could do two and a half here. Right, two and a half, and then do three and a half. At least I get a couple out of that. Three and a half. Okay, so I guess I can go here and here. Then I need another two and a half. And three and a half. one there and three and a half and that one there um now I've got these ones <laughs> I'm out of paper people let's see what's this oh here's a brown that'll work okay let me think here because this is probably oh that's like seven so let's go three and a half this way and two and a half 
And how big are you? You are not quite two and a half. I mean, not that they have to be exact, but okay. So these can go here. Uh, what else do I have? Let's see, what is that? That's not thick enough. Hang on, I've just got my scraps here. I'm just gonna see what I might have that could go. This could go. Oh, look, it's pumpkins. It's pumpkins. Okay, so I am going to go two and a half with this one. This way, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, two and a half and three and a half. And that will go on this one. That one will go there. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing. I'm just stacking them up. Okay, and then I guess we'll go two and a half, or three and a half this way. Okay. That can go there. Alrighty then. Um, and then we need to do our one inch by one and five eighths. So this is this one inch. Oh, perfect. Okay, so one and five eighths. We're gonna just chop as many as we can get out of this. Oops, sorry, that was probably loud. This is including the branding strip on this, but that's that's okay. It made it just the right height. Okay, so I have four. Okay, and I'm gonna need a bit of something else here. Um, let's go, let's go with this on this side. I think, oh, it's a little more than one. So I'm just gonna see if I can't, I can't, can't hold it. I can't hold it and uh, put the thing down at the same time. It's a skinny little strip. Close enough. Okay. So, one and five eighths a couple of times, and we've got it. Okay, and one and five eighths. Okay. For the moment, we're done cutting, I do believe. Okay. So we've got all our bases. Woohoo. Okay, so this one doesn't have any of this. So I'm going to put it there like that. And then these will all just, I'm going to go on these. And here and here. And here and here. Okay, so we're all cut. So I'll give you one more time. Five by eight, the first pocket four by three, the second pocket three and a half by two and a half, and then the last one is one and five eighths by one inch. So hopefully, hopefully that helps everybody. Okay, let's get just putting these together. We're just going to do the glue. Oh, the only other thing we need to cut, hold the phone, is see how this one is slanted. So we've got, it's a little under two inches here before the, before that um, goes. So let's see, I think I'll use my Tim Holtz one. 
And um, so it's the second pocket here. So I am just going to go, oh, those are different sizes. Well, that's awesome. That one's short. Did I? I didn't grab the right one. <laughs> that's that. Whatever. This is fine. Okay. So at I'm gonna go at one and three quarters, and then I'm just looking at this little corner here to see I just kind of want about I don't know three quarters of an inch or something so that's what I'm going to go with there we go so those will go like that okay so I lied we weren't done cutting but we'll get this done oops One's not done. <laughs> Get myself all confused. Okay. Okay. We've got this. We have got this. Okay. So I'm going to put that at about one and three quarters. And I'm going to pull that up till there's a like three quarters ish little bit left. Three quarters of an inch ish there. Okay. This one's done. Okay, this one, I'm gonna grab these. And one and three quarter. I'm doing them both at the same time. So regardless if I do a little bit of a different angle, at least both pockets on the same page are gonna be the same, if that makes sense. Okay, one and three quarters. Okay, about there. Okay. Okay, that's done on those. Let's do the pink ones real quick here. Pull those over. And these two. Given that, I'm going to turn them around. I want to keep as much of the flower as I can. And since it doesn't really have a direction, it won't matter. Okay, this one and this one. Put those over here. And this one and this one. I'll go that way with that one and that way with that one. One and three quarters and slide that up. There we go. Okay. Kind of want. I don't know. Okay. Now we're ready to start inking and gluing. And then as far as the, um, like the things to put in it, I think I'll just, I'll just, the, the main one to look at is this little bitty tag to go in here, but I have lots of, um, scraps for that, I think. Okay, let's grab the Distress Ink. Grab one of these and let's go for it. So, stories. <laughs> Ink, think, and tell stories. That's that's how it how it rolls around here. So last weekend we had the girls' first volleyball tournament. And if you remember, I was telling you that um our two younger granddaughters, Marin and Katie, were playing against each other <laughs> in one game. It was a tournament, so they played other teams too. But in one game, they were playing against each other. Oh, my gosh. So, of course, Nana had to wear the school representing colors, you know, and all. Uh, so, on the... 
on the game where they played each other. I had Marin's Sentinel t-shirt underneath my Gallatin Raptors t-shirt. And so when they played, I pulled up Katie's uh, Gallatin Raptors and tucked in the sleeves and wore it around my neck like a scarf. <laughs> Meanwhile, the sentinel showed underneath. So that's how I handled that little situation where, because, oh my gosh, I was I was wearing the sentinel shirt. Um, with Even with my scarf, never mind, in her first game, um, I mean, I had like, for three games, I'd wore a raptor shirt because that's, that's just kind of how the timing worked out for watching them. And um, so there is, there is that one. Oh, I just love these, Frida. Thank you for, for showing me this. So um, I'm going to, I'm just going to keep ink, inking while I'm talking and then we'll put them together and stuff. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, I wore the Raptors for like three games. Well, then I pulled up, you know, and made the Raptors into a scarf and Katie scowled at me. I'm like, Katie, I got to represent Marin too, you know, <laughs> but it was, it was all in good fun. And it worked out so perfectly because Katie is a uh, libero, which is on defense. So uh, when the hitters hit and kill the ball. Katie's the one that dives under it and pops it back up, right? So, um, Marin is a uh, outside hitter. <laughs> so, uh, first thing that happened was Marin hit the ball and Katie dug it up. Katie got it. And so then, you know, they went on to do the three the three hits and over, right? So, um, so that happened first. Well, both of them had the biggest grins on their face. They were just, because Marin had said, Katie is so good. She's going to just dig up everything that I hit, you know, sure enough, that happened. Well, then a little bit later, Marin hit one right past Katie. <laughs> So it couldn't have been any more perfect. So they each had kind of their moment where they came out on top. Oh, so funny. But anyway, um, gosh, it was a fun day because, of course, my son and daughter-in-law were there and my daughter and her husband. And so we sat with them. Well, then let's move on to little Miss Addie who is the varsity setter, and, you know, she has been for two years. Well, she's a junior now, and so, and she's the only one with varsity experience on her team. So, she's she's quite the little leader, and, oh, dang, it's fun to, just fun to see them, like, in their element, and taking charge, and helping the other girls. Like, there's one girl who, um, she, you know, she had to kind of keep telling her where to stand in the rotation and stuff like that. But, you know, she just does it very, very kindly and just, you know, helps her out, you know. So anyway, that was super fun to see. But um, they have a brand new coach this year. And holy moly, they were so good, you guys. It was so much fun to watch. Oh, my gosh. We were just like, oh, it's going to be a, such a fun season. Because, boy, they they beat both uh, Missoula teams in three sets out of five. And so they just went, took care of business, and were done. It was just like, oh, my gosh. They're so good. So, um but there's lots, uh, well, not lots. There's like two girls on the team, a uh, hitter, and then the libero, the defensive player, um, that played on Addie's club team through the summer. You know, I told you they were traveling all over the place for Addie's volleyball, all over the country, really. And those two girls were 
on Addie's team. And so what was so cool about that is, you know, they've been playing together all summer. So it's like they know what each other's going to do before they even do it, you know, and they're just on the same wavelength totally. So um, that was super fun to watch them. And um, and at the, my, at my favorite uh, play of the of Addie's matches was this one time she, um, a girl dug it from the back row, but it was right up to the net and Addie just flicked it back over her shoulder. They call it a dump, dumped it right down. And it was so, she hit it so hard. I mean, Mike and I, we watched it again on, um, on NFHS, that's the station that I've told you about that shows all the high school sports. Well, um, we had to watch it several times. We couldn't even see the ball. That's how hard she's hit, she hit it. I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Stay out of that girl's way. I'm going to grab my Victorian velvet. I think I want to use the Victorian velvet on this pink. So we'll get it inked and then we got gluing and then we'll have six of these pockets made because we're just good like that. Okay. So, um, so yeah, it was a super fun weekend and then we stayed the night at my son and daughter-in-law's. So, you know, we, we stopped after the volleyball at the grocery store and Mike and I bought steaks. So we had, and my son barbecued them and that was lovely. We haven't had steak in forever. So, um, so that was super fun. And just, we visited and then we, we went and watched a Marvel movie. It was with Dr. Strange. I don't know. Um, I didn't like it though, because Wanda, I watched the, the series on Disney with Wanda and Wanda was a bad guy in this movie. It's like, oh, I don't like that. <laughs> so anyway, uh, well, let's just say Marin and I watched it. Her dad, mom, and Mike all fell asleep. So <laughs> Marin and I, we were giggling about these sleepy heads. But, um, oh, it's so great, though. My little Marin, she's a total snug snuggler, even though she's in high school now. And so... Um, she was all curled up under a blankie snuggle in her Nana. Oh my gosh. I just love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It was a super, super fun weekend that way. And then we drove home and I came home and did my Etsy share. And then Mike and I turned on NFHS and watched the volleyball all over again obsessed much goodness oh but you know we i think from adding katie's mom our daughter we just know how quick it goes and then it's going to be done and you know and we won't have it to watch anymore so we're just we're just taking full advantage although the nfhs has on demand and so you can watch it you know anytime I was really bummed, though, because we were trying to find our grandson in Denver, find his football game. They had all the volleyball from the weekend. They had all the soccer. Um, but they didn't have the football. So I don't know if they just hadn't gotten it up yet on the, on the thing or what. I'll have to check again, like maybe tonight or something see if it's up there but it was like shoot we thought we'd be able to watch him too so anyway we'll see but um he's playing on the jv football team which i to me that's really good especially in denver he's got a giant high school it's got it's bigger than the college here in terms of enrollment so um so yeah Okay, let's let's glue. Um, I'm trying to think about how to kind of make these even. 
I don't know if I can do something on my mat. Let's see. Let's just eyeball it. And then see if we can actually like line up at the half inch and the half inch. That'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Okay. Now we just have lots of gluing to do. Um, yeah. So anyway, super fun weekend. Now this weekend we go to Butte, which is about an hour away. It's down the road from us. And Addie and Katie have, no, just Addie, just Addie. It's just a varsity tournament. And um, so, yeah, so that's this weekend. And then it'll be, we're going either Bozeman, Missoula, or one of the towns that they're playing. It's going to be, it's going to just, we're just going to be the road warriors, Mike and I. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, and then this one, of course, I'll just glue here, here and here. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space around so you can kind of see like so. This way you can kind of, hopefully I'm in somewhat in camera. Oops. So you can see the blue around it a little bit. Just like that. So, so yeah, that was, that was kind of it. Yeah, we got home Sunday and I just did laundry and watched the volleyball games again. <laughs> oh, that's the, that's really the beauty of that though. And you know, the other part of that is the girls can watch, watch their games again. And so like they, they, you know, they can learn from that. They can watch it again and think, oh, I should have, on this one, I should have done this instead of this or whatever. And that's that bodes well for next time. So, yeah, those just down like that. Gosh, Frida, thank you for this idea. I just love these. And so, yeah, so this one is going in the slow stitch journal. Let me show you on a page. Isn't that great? Great thing for like if you've got some white backs on your digitals or something. That will cover up your page really nicely. Okay, so set that one over there. Let's do the fall ones. Um, yeah, so basically that was that was it. But uh Oh man, that's super cute. But this one's just kind of plain. Do I like that better? What will even show though? Yeah, nothing will show. Let's just let's just do it this way as originally intended. So, um so yeah, I don't know. Not much else going on besides just just following the girls. Um, my grandson that lives in Missoula, he was camping with his buddies for the weekend. It was the last weekend before school starts. So we didn't get to see him, which is kind of a bummer, but we'll probably see him at another game just because once school starts, he'll maybe be going, hopefully. I was probably, I was probably a mean mom. I always made the siblings watch whoever was playing. Um, and I know, I know the younger siblings got real tired of being in the gym, but you know, it was... It was fun. Those days were fun. So with any luck, Addie really wants, you know, she wants to play in college and um, things are, I mean, there's multiple college in 
interested in her. College is interested in her. And um, so if she's close, we may still be able to watch her during college. But if not, and, you know, and Mike and I really are to the point where traveling in the winter isn't something we relish doing because, I mean, we're just old and a couple old people on a snowy road just doesn't seem like a good idea. Isn't that so much fun? Hey, I think these are going to just be super fun in my, in my, uh, in my fall journals. So, you know, as you know, I'm filming ahead. So let's see. This is going to air the Thursday that I'm at my retreat. And so, um, so hopefully I'll be actually putting these journals together as we speak. Um, excited. I need to get my groceries for it. I'm responsible for a lunch at this one. So I think I might do walking tacos might be my lunch. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. So I need to get groceries for that and you know, get my own groceries too. Like I like to take a little little thing of Diet Pepsi, you know, a six pack of Diet Pepsi to it and and I can have one in the afternoon. And then, oh, and then we we are responsible for a meal. And then we bring snacks. So I'll bring snacks. I'm in charge of caramel M&Ms. <laughs> I bring them every time. And they love me and they hate me at the same time. You know, they're hard to resist, those things. I, I will admit that. They are hard to resist. Um... And we usually have the Simply Pop popcorn, you know, from um, from Costco. We usually have that. This might be fun with a little word on it or something. I'll just have to see what all I have in my ephemera that I'm taking. So I don't know if I have told you this, but my friend Diane, whose retreat this is, her sister's visiting from Oklahoma. So her sister will be there, which is awesome because I feel like I know her already because Diane talks about her all the time. And so um, I'll get to meet her, but she is riding with us. And my friend Diane and her daughter always ride i'd take my van and we fill it up with all our stuff and they ride with me well we're gonna have one extra and so it's like oh lordy <laughs> are we gonna fit <laughs> so yeah it'll be interesting to see how well we fit so um <clears throat> i've been trying to think how can i pack a little more you know have less but I just need all my stuff. <laughs> so it could be, we could have a, a pretty full vehicle. Um, but it'll be, it'll be great because, you know, and that's why Diane and uh, her daughter Kelsey and I ride together as we chat all the way there. It's about an mm, hour and a half-ish from my from our town to Anaconda where the retreat is and so we have an hour and a half there and an hour and a half back to chat and you know we never ran out of stuff to talk about <laughs> oh I'm so happy about these I just love them so I'll do the last fall one I, I'll save the other pink one to glue um, later, but, uh, I want to cut some little things to, out of the scraps to put in these. Okay, there's that one. One more. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, we're good. We'll have time to do some pieces for in these. Oops, I keep forgetting how I'm doing this. 
Okay. So, oh gosh, the other thing that happened was we got home and we have this, we have this mountain, right? I mean, it's essentially in our town. It's on the south end of our town. It's called Mount Helena and it was on fire when we got home. Oh, that afternoon a fire started there. I got to believe it was man-made because um, there was no weather. There was, you know, no thunder or lightning or anything. They got it out. They, it was just under 30 acres, but it's right on the front of the mountain, and it's just this big black scar. It's just so sad. But, um, but boy, were the firemen on it because... There's houses, you know, the houses keep creeping up the mountain. And, um, but, you know, no structures were lost or anything, but it's, it's a, tra there's a trail system on the mountain and, um, it was all closed for the, I mean, it's still closed. And, uh, I think they'll open it. They were saying they thought they'd open it tomorrow. So, but golly, it was like, oh my gosh. And so I'm on the south, in the south hills too, but is is probably, mm, gosh, how many miles away? Probably two miles from us, but still don't love fire season. Okie dokie. So look how um, Frida put little uh, washy leaf stickers on that. That's super cute. And then she put some buttons on it too. That's really cute too. So I have to keep that in mind. But let's, let's, uh, I mean, all that can be decorated later when I decide where it's going to go in a journal. But let's make some little things like these little tags. See, that's a little too, that's a little too wide for mine. So. I think I'm going to go like maybe, so that's an inch. Let's see. That's not too bad. So let me get my cutter out and we'll, let's see. I don't really need my distress ink anymore, I don't think. So this is two and a quarter. So we'll go one and a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's going to be very tiny. Um, okay, how tall do we want it? Okay, I'm going to just take off a smidge and see. So this one's one inch by nearly two inches, not quite. And that's too tall, so... see let's go one and a half okay that fits in there nicely oh but his back is icky okay never mind <laughs> oh I'm just looking at what I have left here This brown would be kind of cool in those, wouldn't it? Okay, so what did I say? An inch, an inch and a half, I think. No, no. An inch, I have it an inch. Gosh, I tell you, sorry guys, I am not, not tracking very well. I'm going to try an inch and a quarter and see what that's like. Yeah, that fits in there. And then I'm going to cut it right about there. Let's say two inches. Inch and a quarter by two inches. Nope, two inches is too much. Inch and a quarter by inch and three quarters. <laughs> I've got this little pile of cutoffs here. Okay, that's 
pretty good. I don't know. An inch and a half going to be. Let's go between an inch and a half and an inch and three quarters. Let's see how that is. Okay, that's pretty good. Sheezy peasy. Okay, is that? Yeah, so. What did I say that was? An inch. Inch and a quarter. Right. Right, right. My only excuse is I didn't sleep very well last night. I had in my brain all these things I wanted to do, and I have to. I can't just make videos today because I'm taking my friend Diane, whose retreat I'm going to, I'm taking her to lunch because it's her birthday. Let's see. I'm going to cut these. How about I just, can I use Frida's? Is free this. Why reinvent the wheel? Okay. And then I'll use it to cut this one. It is so itty bitty. Bay little tags. Okay. So those are fun for there. And what else do I have left? This is cute how Frida used like um, shapes. That's really cute. Oh, and then in the back, she did folded papers. I love that because that's then just, that's just more journaling space. She has that and a tag in the back. Those are great stickers that she has, too. Okay. Um, let's see. I think that would be a fun tag. Looking through there. And this is a fun tag. Let's just cut this one in half. It's got good writing space on the back. How wide are you? You are four and a half, so two and a quarter, right? It's a little more than that. It's four and three quarters. That makes sense. Four and three quarters. So two and about right there. <laughs> enough. I don't know. They're not the same, but that's no biggie. Okay, let's just round those with the quarter incher. And I'll um I'll distress all these pieces afterward. But those will just be little like little journal cards. Okay. So I'm going to put one in there like that, and one in there like that. Okay, did that. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I could make a couple tags out of that for the top pocket. I don't think I'm going to have much left to work with on the other one, though, is the, is the trouble. But uh, let's see. This is the four and a little bit. So two and a little bit less. <laughs> good enough. Good enough. Oh, got those pretty close. That was good. So I'm just going to make those into a tag. Um, yeah, I'm kind of running out of scraps, to be honest. But, ouch. Okay, what's the back of those like? Oh, thankful f thankful for you, it says. Little, little fox there. But I, I like that. Or do I like this?
maybe maybe there. I don't know. I'm not loving them on that one. Maybe I'd love them on a different one. I really like the flower side. I'm going to go with the flower side. We'll put those put those there. Maybe maybe poking out the side a little bit. Yeah, that goes that can go there. Good. Um what else? We have this one. Good writing on the back. Let's see this one is again a little over 4. So let's cut it a little see if we can go a little bit less ish. And these would kind of they blend in too much there. I think this could go in here. Let's do, once again, let's do the, I'm just going to round it rather than um, make it a tag shape. And once these are inked, they'll show up more too on the edges. But I think those would be kind of nice right there. Yep, like them better there than on the other ones. Okay, what else do we have? We have this. This little guy, I wonder. I'm wondering about for the little tags. And that was like an inch and a half, right, ish? Inch and, a, uh, inch and a quarter, right? I can't remember. I think an inch and a half is going to be too big, though. Hmm. Inch and a quarter is a little big. Let's see. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to slide this in here. Oh, yeah. Maybe an inch and between the quarter. That's what I did. Okay. That one could go in there. Might have to cut off a little at the bottom. Did I say an inch and three quarters, I think is what I said. Yep. Okay, that's great there. Love that because it's it goes with the it goes with this. Okay, so um I'm sorry, you guys. I can't remember for one second. One and three quarter. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is go one and three quarter and take a little strip off of that. And then I can do the... Oh yeah, one and in between the three quarter. I'm just gonna make a bunch of these right here. One here, that. see if these will work on some of the others too okay all right so I want another rose on this one so that's that's those love those okay let's let's trim them up a little bit they're a little tag shape So 
yeah, I'll have lots of inking to do here, but I won't subject you. I will just do that off camera. Okay, we have everything here except the paper and a little tag to go in the back, maybe. So, kind of getting there. Let's see, what do we have here? I have a couple of roses here. I think I might do those two for here. You know what? I'm just going to eyeball that. Close enough. There and there. Cool. And then these. really like that side of that one. That's fine. I'm going with it. Okay, got all my itty bitty tags in. And so let's see what else. Do we have time? Oh my goodness, it's time to go. I apologize. Keeping you forever. Okay, so we got four nearly done ones for fall. And we have this one for our slow stitch and Actually, I may use this one as my for my idea journal. So thank you so much for crafting with me today. I hope you have a grateful day and we will just see you in the next video. Bye everyone.